Hello everyone, welcome to the video, and I need to ask you all a serious question. Is Call of Duty punishing solo players? Now, I've been a solo player ever since I played Call of Duty. So, like when I started playing Call of Duty, which is Call of Duty Black Ops, I've always been a solo player. I always preferred playing solo, and I just, I just didn't really have that many people to play teams with. And usually I always tend to do well. I always go pretty positive. I'm usually always the first in my team and I have fun. But then when Advanced Warfare came out, it introduced skill-based matchmaking, which you go against against players that have similar skill level as you. And I didn't like it. You know, I really, really hate it. I hate the fact that literally every single game I have to sweat my ass off to win, which got really, really annoying and really frustrating. Then we have Call of Duty Black Ops 3, which had what I call the shit team balancing algorithm in which, let, let's say you're a great player, let's say you're a above average player, you are going to get the shit teammates, while the other team might have the same thing, or might have two good players on that team, while you gotta carry the team you no know thumbs. Now that was my main problem with Black Ops 3. Just the awful, awful team balancing. That was just really, really annoying and a pain in the ass. I can't tell you how many times I got so frustrated because I lost the game just because my teammates were just complete ass. And that is just not acceptable in my personal opinion. Then we have Infinite Warfare, which, to be honest, I'm not too sure if it did have a team balancing algorithm. I mean, yes, I had moments where my teammates were idiots and weren't playing the game or just getting their asses kicked, but it didn't happen too often, so I didn't really, so it didn't really bother me at all. So here we have Call of Duty World War Two, which, at the beginning, it was rumored that skill-based matchmaking was in the game, though I don't think anyone actually proved it. But I felt like there was just some sort of matchmaking algorithm going on. But I can't really confirm it because there's no real way of saying it. However, now, after a while since World War II has been released, I can safely say that Call of Duty World War II has some sort of team balancing algorithm. Because every time I play a game of, let's say, Domination, Kill Confirmed, or what have you, I'm always carrying my shit teammates while the other teams have... Our master prestigious teamed up, playing like they're playing on some fucking game battles and sweating their asses off, which is mm, mm, mm. no, that is just unacceptable and very frustrating. With the release of Black Ops 4 coming, I mentioned that the game seemed very team tactical wise. It's almost like this game is focusing on team play, which that means that I feel like Call of Duty is just not really catering to solo players anymore. They're mainly focused on teammates now. Team playing. Which I don't like, to be honest. I mean, I can see now that when I play Black Ops 4, I'm gonna team up a random team, and they'll get shit on, and I may go positive, while the other team just completely destroys us. I'm getting the idea that Call of Duty is just punishing solo players ever since Advanced Warfare. Which, I just don't understand why. I mean, it's not fun going up against sweaty ass people while I'm carrying shit teammates. That's just completely unacceptable. It is annoying as hell. And as years go goes by, I feel like Call of Duty really is punishing solo players. I mean, I don't play with teammates. I don't know how many of you do, but I don't. This is why I'm making this video, because I want to tell people what I think about it and I want to see what you guys think. So I want to make this quick video saying, do you think Call of Duty is slowly punishing solo players or am I just out of my mind? Because when I think about it, it really does sound like they're punishing solo players or they're just not really catering to solo players anymore. They just want good teams, basically. So if you're a solo player, you're basically fucked. So I don't know what to think anymore. I'm just getting really, really annoyed dealing with this awful team balancing algorithm and it's just not fun and since Black Ops 4 is focused around the team teaming kind of playstyle then I think I am basically screwed if that 
turns out to be true. Which it is. I'm just saying that if the team balancing algorithm is still in Black Ops 4, I am basically fucked. So, I encourage you guys to please leave a comment and tell me what do you guys think. Is Call of Duty punishing solo players? I would literally like to hear your opinion because I feel like I'm alone in this subject. But thank you all for watching and have a good one and please let me know what you guys think. Goodbye now.